We are so excited to be part of the sort of movement that you're creating um, in bringing peace and media uh, together and using art as a way to tell the stories and really shifting that focus from the ongoing conversation that we have around conflict and war to peace and p building peace. It puts a smile on my face to know that there's creative projects and things like this just available for people to see. I think it'll really broaden some people's horizons, definitely. People forget that it was the Diane Nash or the Joanne Robinson, you know, these people, the, the Claudette Covens before Rosa Parks, um, who didn't make the history books, you know, who didn't make the newspaper, but they did um, change the world. Really wanted to make mindfulness and that connection of personal peace as well as this idea of we can all be peace builders in our world. So found through Laura Hassler your film The Five Powers. So we're very excited to have it be part of Peace Day Philly 2014. Films like this can help energize and inspire people you know um, and that's that's what comics do too in a sense. So I think what you tried to do here is, is try to make everyday people or people um, who aren't normally seen as superheroes into superheroes, which I think is, is very important. How to be a peace builder in the world is something that it has to be an ongoing conversation, not just once a year. So one of the nice things that I, I've been able to observe is collaborations that have been formed through doing programs and those collaborations maintain themselves long after Peace Day. Several